this is my first attempt at talking to the camera. I'm trying to practice one or two things. It's a random Tuesday evening. You suddenly stumble on one of Tayo Aino's videos. Yeah, the the popular one where he spent 24 hours with David Ong. You go on to watch the entire thing and midway into the video, it dawns on you how much this guy has grown as a creator to be able to just be casually chilling with one of Africa's greatest artists. You're excited for him, but then at the same time, you suddenly remember how that a couple years ago you had a dream of also being a YouTuber, but then you never started. Or you did start, and after your first three videos got a total of 162 views, you quit it all together. Does this sound familiar? Tayo is just an example. For you, it could be an Instagram creator or even a Twitter influencer who you knew when they had little to no followers and now they are big shots being celebrated by hundreds of thousands of followers, if not millions. You probably saw Laiyu Wasabi's kids when he was still having 10,000 or 20,000 views per video. And now each video gets to like a million views. And you start to wonder, is there something these creators know that you don't? Well, the answer is yes. First, let's take a look at Tayo's first video on YouTube. A one minute vlog at a wedding party. Looking back at that video, I'm pretty certain even Tayo Aino himself would have a good laugh and maybe feel a little bit embarrassed. However, I'm also certain that at the time of uploading this video over six years ago, it must have been such a big deal for him to upload his first video on the platform. Years later, his videos started looking like this, especially in 2021 and 2022. Tayo was now constantly interviewing billionaires and millionaires in Africa while telling their stories. This money that I wanted. And I wanted to prove that good things are possible to come out of Nigeria. Today, this is what Tayo's content looks like. He's simply traveling the world and sharing his experiences. It gets more interesting here. This was Fisayo's first video on YouTube. An interview with an Uber driver on a random day. Okay, like, how many rides have you done? Wow, 20. That's serious. <laughs> Eventually, Fisayo would evolve to reviewing gadgets. But today, with a full-blown production team, his content has diversified. His stuff now looks like this. From interviews with tech giants, founders, and CEOs, to helping the less privileged with makeovers. Some of his contents now include having conversations with other creators. And of course, his first love. Fisayo is still reviewing tech gadgets. Finally, Wode Maya. I heard you guys are anticipating for my new singles. Yeah, I hear I'm colo, 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 colo. Okay. Oh boy, you there for. This was Maya's first video. In his typical fashion, if we're going to be honest, just a funny roadside chat with another black man in China. It's interesting to know that for the first six years of Odemaya's YouTube career, his content simply revolved around videos like this. Yes. Yes. Where is Shamana? Where is Shamana? Fantastic baby. Fantastic baby. Okay. Him sharing experiences as a black man living in China, doing social experiments with Chinese people 
interviewing individuals on the roadside and of course just generally being my you know the funny guy that he is I'm telling you. How are you, man? Ah, man, I did, I did. Look, look, look. Ah, China, man. man, I'm it's telling you, China. China is good, I'm telling oh. you. Returning to Africa five years after, his content style changed to suit his new reality. Today, if we were to have a single minister of tourism in Africa, someone that represents the true culture of promoting Africa's beauty, it will definitely be Maya because his content is now dedicated to showing the world the side of Africa that is rarely seen. Do you see what's going on here? Did you notice that none of these creators are doing the exact same thing that they started with? But here's the twist to it, right? They probably wouldn't be doing what they're doing at the moment if they didn't start how they started back then. Here's the truth. Now this is good and bad news at the same time. The truth is that no one knows what they are doing when they are just starting out. No one knows how much that little piece of content would cause them to evolve. No one knows what they are going to be posting two years from now, four years from now, six years from now. The name of the game is evolution and iteration. The core of your content style today might not even exist on your channel three years from now. But you wouldn't get to that point if you don't get started with the idea that you have at the moment. You're watching a mini documentary style video from this channel right now. But who knows what the content style would evolve to be next year in 2027 in 2030 who knows so if you're a creator and you have a dream to start a youtube channel or an instagram page a tiktok account whatever it is take solace in the fact that every single person started kind of clueless and walks their way forward so the instruction is to put your best step forward and just start. There's nothing to be afraid of.